By the end of this video, you will be able to add pages to the music that you're creating in MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So I'm currently using MuseScore Studio 4.5, and there are two main ways that you can add pages to your score. The first way is to add elements to the score like measures and notes, and the second way is to change the layout formatting of the score. So when it comes to adding music to your score, the easiest way to add pages is to add measures. So I'm going to zoom out here so that you can see my score. I'm just holding the control button on my keyboard and then I am using the scroll wheel at the same time. So you can see I have one score here. So in order to add measures, you don't have to have anything selected. You can just go up to the top of the score and then left click on add. And then you're going to go to measures and then you're going to look for the insert measures at the end of the score. You could insert one at a time if you want. And the shortcut for that is control B or you can insert multiple at once. That's what I'm going to do. So I left click on that. And let's go ahead and add 16 measures to the end of this piece. I'm going to press OK. And you can see it added 16 bars. Now it did not add another page yet. So I need to add more than that. So I'm going to do that again. Plus icon measures and measures at the end of the score. Let's go ahead and add another 16. Perfect. So now you can see that I was able to add a second page to the score with blank measures. The shortcut to add a measure at the end of the piece is control B. So if you have anything selected and then you just press control B, let's try that off, select there, and then press control B on your keyboard, it will add measures to the end. And you can actually hold control B and just hold both key keys down. And it will just keep adding. You can also add measures in the middle of the score if that's how you would like to create that extra page. Uh, so left click in the middle of a measure and you'll select the measure and then you can go up to the add icon if you want, go to measures and then you can sort uh, insert one measure before the selection. So that would work. If I add enough measures, then I'll add another page to this piece. You can also add an uh, extra page to your piece by changing the formatting settings. And there are a couple ways you could do this. So let's look at this first page here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and go near the end and let's say I want to make this measure here so I'm going to just left click in the middle of the measure it'll select the measure let's say I want to make that measure the last measure on this page what I can do is go over to the left hand side of my screen and look for palettes and then once I look for palettes then I'm going to look for the one for layout and again if you don't have layout you'll have to add the palette and then just add layout to your palettes and then I'm going to look for page break when I click on page break that will make that measure the last measure of the that page so you can see now it's the last measure of the page. And if I zoom out now, it almost added another page. So let's say I wanted to make this measure the end of that page. Then I could do that again, add a page break. And now you can see I added those two page breaks. So now I added that extra page. So this is one way that you can adjust the pages with your layout. And again, it was in palettes and in layout and page break. Another way that you could do this would be to go up to your format option here on the top left. And then you can also change the measures per system. So let's say I were to lock this to four measures per system, that's per line. So I'm going to press OK. You're going to see that it added, oh, I only had that selected. So I'm going to undo that. So Control Z is undo. So let's say I want to have this locked at four measures per system. I don't have anything selected. Again, go up to format. And then we're going to click on measures per system and it will select everything. There we go. Now I'm going to press OK with four measures per system. And you can see now we got four measures per system. And now if I look, it did add an extra page. So I had enough measures where it add an extra page. So that's another way where you can lock the settings. And this makes it look really nice and clean as well. And then one last way that you could do this is to go up to format and you can actually change the page settings. And with the page settings, you could change the size of your notes. And so again, if I increase the staff space here and scaling, it'll increase the size of the notes. And you can see it's adding pages to my score and I'll press OK. And you can see by doing that, I made the music larger. So that added the pages as well. And then one final bonus tip is you could also go up to format and then click on style. And then once you're in style, you're going to look for the option for page. And you can see that in this option here, we have enable vertical justification of stage. You can click that one. You could also disable them. Uh, and then here we can do minimum system distance. So if I have a minimum system distance, and I make this larger. You can see it added distance to some of my staves there. So I just keep doing this and it'll add space in between. If I want to decrease that, 
You can just press the down icon here. And again, you can play with these different numbers and see how it looks on the score. And that would also add pages as well. And then to save your selection, you just press OK. So you now know several ways to add a page or pages to the music that you're creating in MuseScore Studio. If you made it this far into the video, you likely want to get the most out of using MuseScore Studio 4.5. I made a complete beginner's guide showing you how to do this. I'll put a link to that video here.